Hey everyone, welcome to another $1,000 strap search. I've got my $1,000 in singles here. And before I show you what I found, let's talk about this week's tip. Uh, I know you guys l listen and look forward to me giving these tips every week. And that alone makes me feel good. So my tip for this week is no matter how much you know, you can always learn a little more. Um, I really appreciate the amount of credit you guys give me for all the stuff that I do in these videos. Uh, the, some of the comments I get from you guys make me feel like I'm a genius. I am just a collector like you guys. Uh, I just happen to have my reference books handy. Uh, if you ask me a question on the spur of the moment, I'm probably not going to be able to get to the answer, but I can find the answer. So I just want to say, uh, it's never too late to learn something new. <laughs> Thank you guys for giving me the credit that you do. Uh, but I have to give all the credit to the books that I use because without them, I'd be lost. All right. So that, that's what I've got for you there. Let's take a look at what I found in my stacks. Thousand singles. Here we go. Did find a trainer. This one's nice and crisp. Good number on this one. Seven, sixes, and fours. Uh, this one is twos, fives, and eights. One away from a binary. Yeah, it doesn't count, I know. Another trinary here, zeros, fives, and nines. And this one is quads, quad threes right there. Rough shape on this one, so we're probably going to go back. Quad fours here. It does have the fifth four to go with it. Uh, current bill, 2017. Uh, let's see. Quad sevens on this one. Quad sevens is the trailer. Pretty rough shape on this one, so probably not a keeper. Did find a five in a row. Five of a kind. It is a trinary. Zeros, threes, and fours. It's got five fours in a row, and it does have the sixth four in the line. So it's six of a kind, five in a row. And it's a really crisp note as well, so that's a good thing. Did come across a few stars. This one is really crisp. Another crisp one here. Are these? No, these aren't. I was going to say they're definitely from different series. Um, yeah, really crisp note here. A little bit older on this star. And that one's got the standard crease through the middle. This one's creased up a little bit as well, too. But I will put these in my star pile, and when I get a chance, I will go through mycurrencycollection.com and see if any of these are rares. That's the best way to do it. I like to check them all at once. Did find some older notes. This note looks a lot older than it really is. Uh, this one's just 1999, but looks like it's been sitting in a puddle under a car for about a year. Uh, another 1999 here. Good shape on this one. Another, this is 1995. Nope, 1999. Still 1999 on this one. There's the 1995. Starts 1995 here. No web note there. Always checking to make sure that's not a web press note, because those are out there to be found. Another 1995. And the oldest note in the group, this is a 1981A. And it still has some crispness to the paper. So I was very surprised to find one of these. 1981A, you don't see very many of these at all. Uh, it is a G note, so it is one of the more popular notes. Uh, so I probably don't need it to fill my collection. But still finding a 1981A, I was happy to see that. All right, so what do I have this week from my safety deposit box? Well, I've shown a couple of these. I've shown the one, I've shown the 10. This is the five. This is a $5 silver certificate. You can see the series of 1934A right there. And you'll notice it is a little bit different. Uh, for starters, being a silver certificate, you can see that the numbers are blue. And it does have this blue numeral here. The silver certificates from the 1934 series all had blue numerals, whether they were the 1s, the 5s, or the 10s. And I'm a huge fan of that blue numeral. Just seeing that alone makes it cool. But you'll also notice that the reserve symbol here isn't green, so it's not Federal Reserve, and it's not blue. Oddly enough, for a silver certificate, you'd think it would be blue. But this particular one is yellow, which makes this emergency currency from World War II. World War II emergency currency, the yellow designates this as a North Africa note. Now, like I said, I have done a $1 North Africa note, and I've done the $10 North Africa note. They only did three notes. They did the 1, the 5, and the 10, and I finally got a 5, so I'm bringing this one out. This completes my full North Africa set. Uh, $5 North Africa note. These were used 
uh, in North Africa during World War II so that we could still use American currency there. And if for some reason uh, a shipment of money was hijacked or anything like that, all it would take is a swipe of a pen by Congress to make this money no longer valid. In doing so, they were protecting our country from uh, people robbing <laughs> the, the money, people counterfeiting the money. This was the stuff that was used there. You can see it does not say in God we trust on there. That wasn't put on until uh, the 1950s. But, uh, yeah, so that makes this also one of the godless notes. It has the standard back that you'd find in most $5 bills, uh, with the exception of the motto there. So from the back, it looks like a regular five. It's only from the front that you notice that this is a North Africa $5 bill. This particular one is in pretty good shape. I, I like how uh, bright the colors are. I like the whiteness in there. It's not very dirty. It doesn't have very many creases on it. It just shows a little bit of wear. So this would definitely rank higher than a than a VG8. Uh, this is probably probably a 20, you know, maybe, maybe a little more than that. And we'll, we'll take a look at the book and we'll see what the book says. Set that down. My book is starting to fall apart. I had it too long. <laughs> All right. We have emergency notes issued during World War II. They start off, put that last section in there. They start off with the Hawaiian notes, the one, the five, the 10, and the 20. And we're talking about issues for use with the armed forces in Europe and North Africa. There's the $1 with the gray numeral, the $5 that I just showed, and of course there's the $10 right there. So that is the full series. I finally completed that series. And if we look down here, you can see that the $1 note in VG8 starts at 35. The $5 note would be the key note, I guess you'd say, because it's $50 in VG8. Um, the 1934 $10 was short printed. Uh, those are extremely scarce. You can see those are like $1,500. The average person isn't going to run across one of those. Um, but the 1934 A's, those are only $40 for the 10. That makes the $5 note, the note that I just showed, that would be the key note. And looking a little closer here, they did only make 16 million of those. Um, in VG8, you're talking $50 for that $5 bill. 70 and 12, it gets up to 95 if you're talking uh, VF20. Uh, EF40, you're looking at about 125. So my mine's probably somewhere in that range, somewhere between the 95 and the 125. And if it was perfect, you're talking $525 on that $5 bill. So once again, that is my 1934A $5 silver certificate World War II North Africa note. Uh, long title, but a very cool note to have. Uh, all these notes are, every note is a piece of history. Some notes just have a bigger piece of history, this being World War II. Uh, a lot of us have a lot of people that we know and love who were a part of that. And uh, holding a piece of history like this just has a little bit more meaning. All right, everyone, if you learned anything new, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like what you see and you want to see more, please subscribe. I love reading your comments. I try to reply to every single one of them. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you next week.